them. They're working with me. This is why I can't plan anything. Because things don't always work the way you want them to. It doesn't matter if they're perfectly placed. Some of the pictures. Down. Yay! Some want to do the right thing and others do not. Okay, a couple more. I hate this stuff. Have I mentioned that I hate this stuff? Yes, because I hate this stuff. I don't use it. I came to the end of the roll. I want to get rid of it. And this is what I'm doing. Okay, done. Done. Yay. Okay, now this here is Magical Marcus. Lindy Stamp Game product that I absolutely love. I'm just putting my finger in there, just like that. I don't know if you can see this bag, girl. Beautiful. I'm just going to rub them over some of the little dots. Yes, I'm rubbing marker on my dots. Woohoo! Bet you'd like to rub some marker on your dots. Okay. La 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 la. Putting that out of the way. We'll have another colour. Let's go for a blue. Okay. So just having fun. Fingers involved. Look, no gloves. Freaking you out yet? Okay. Yeah, check that out. Awesome. Okay, now I'm going to take some PBA. And I'm just... Circles. Whee! More circles. Uh, we might just throw a little bit of paint in there. Ooh, lime. Lime paint. Lovely. Okay. Uh, how about aqua? Aqua's nice. One of my favourite colours. Woohoo! You can see I'm just playing. Whatever right. I do. And Okay, this is just a rubber brush Get them from most art stores. This has got a silicon tip. Get them in different shapes and such. Okay, and I'm just Now I'm going to use this stencil. If you have got stencil, you can use lace. And I'm just going to take my spray that's here. The Lindy Stamp Gang again. Just going to lift it. And I'm going to put it down there and just rub it. And lift. Okay, and put that wherever you can where it's not going to go everywhere. A little bit of punchinella. Using my hands. No gloves. Lifting. Moving. Nice. Put it on. Now, that paint's just touch dry. Beautiful. Now, take in Dimensional Magic, or you can use Diamond Glaze. If you can see it picking up the mica a bit better, it actually tends to make it a lot more vibrant. And I'm just going to use one of my tools again. And what it does to the paint too, it also breaks it down. And get these nice marbled lines. Alright, just spreading it out. Okay, beautiful. Now I'm going to force dry that a bit more. So I'm going to use another colour. I'm just going to put it just side there. Well, this is a thicker paint. It's not as quality paint. 
I'm just going to drag that down. Okay. Now I'm taking gilding wax. I'm just a little bit on my finger like that. Just highlighting some of the areas. Now if you get carried away with putting gilding wax on, just use a baby wipe and lift it. Take some beach sand. And just sprinkle it over my entire page. And I'm going to take my spray. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is dry that off again. Okay. Now bear in mind when you're working with sand it does get hot. You can save that in a jar. Use it again. Toothbrush if you need to. An old toothbrush, not a new toothbrush. Maybe your ex husband's toothbrush. Now, that's my finished piece, and I'm really happy with that. It's got lots of little areas that I really love. But if you don't like that, and you think, oh crap, I've stuffed it up, um, you can keep building on it. And make it entirely different, make it better, make it, you know, whatever. Um, you can t do things like put crackle medium over it. And I'm just going over. Doesn't matter if it moves. Okay, just going in like that. Okay, bit of gibbies over here. Do, 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 do. Going to use a bit of colour. The red. Green. It's so Christmassy. A little bit of blue. If the blue wants to come out. Okay. Over the top. Spray a bit of yellow. Over here, I'm just going to sprinkle some of the micas. Obviously, not that one because I've used that to death because it's my favourite colour. So I'm going to have to use another colour. And by the way, that's my collection of colours. Ha ha! Alright, I'm sprinkling some of the red down. Because I like it like that. Okay. I'm going to put the lid on my gel medium or it will dry out. A gel medium is a really good product because you can use it for so many things. You can use it for faux brush stroke, you can use it to extend your paint colours, you can use it as an adhesive. Okay, and I'm just going to lift this little bit of chippy up. Up you come, chippy. Come on, chippy. There you go. It's not ruined. We can use it for something else. Save it for a rainy day. Okay, so I've got my little squigglies in there now. Now I'm going to force dry that. Okay. Now, I force dried over here and this should be touch dry. I'm just going to wipe my hands a little cleaner. And I'm going to take Dimensional Magic again. And just put it over the top where the gel medium is. And just rub that. And you can see it interacts with the mica. I love this. Okay, I'm just that again. That'll be a bit sticky, but that's okay. I'm gonna take some gilding wax and just rub it lightly over the top. There like that. And I am going to dry that just a little bit more. Okay, now I'm going to use some of the aqua. Just 
Spread over the top. And rub that in. And then while that's still wet, I'm going to take a baby wipe. And then just going in one direction. Alright. And keep moving the wipe so you get clean areas. Just like that. Okay, one direction only. Okay, so you get like a um, like a verdigris sort of patina look. Okay. Now we can add more colour and more texture. We can use impasto. Now impasto, if you leave it to dry on its own will dry semi-transparent so you'll get this nice frosted look but I like to uh, force everything to dry and what I'm going to do is use my texture tool which is right here and I'm just going to draw into that just like so Force dry that. in there all the bubbling cool that all right so once I've done that I can use that as a resist and just put a bit of color in so we'll go to the teal again excuse me <laughs> all right and I'm just rubbing it right in like that just like that Okay, again using a clean wipe. Just one direction. And make sure you use a clean part of the wipe. You can use a wet cloth or just keep rinsing these out. Okay, try not to be too heavy handed on it or you will drag up some of the impasto and you don't want to do that. Okay, you can go in the other direction. Just wipe away where you want it exposed. Okay, and I'm just going to force dry that one last time. Okay, so a little bit of gilding wax. Just to finish it off. And I'll actually upload some close-up photos of these textures so you can see them. Now these are really good for like um, your journal pages, ATCs, inties, card backgrounds, even little strips. You can punch out um, little shapes, flowers, butterflies and such. Can you see? Oh, it's pretty area here all right and you can see it's really flexible still it's not going to crack so nice thing about impasto and gel medium is they do stay flexible um, impasto more so uh, texture paste is quite a brittle product so I try and avoid that 